John Hartnett, founder and CEO of ITLG. Welcome to Irish Startup TV, and thanks very much for hosting us today at your conference. Great, yeah, delighted. Thanks, uh, thanks for having me, and thanks for coming to the event. Um, I'm an Irish, I have an Irish accent, but I've lived in Silicon Valley for the last 17 years. But uh, we've been running the ITLG project for the last eight years. Uh, we founded it in Silicon Valley, and uh, so this is our eighth year coming back. And uh, we've typically focused on coming back to universities. We've been in every university and most institutions in the country. Uh, you know, in, in Cork, in, in Limerick, in Galway. We've been in Dublin, so third time back to Dublin, and we've also been in Belfast, uh, you know, as well. So great, great to get back here. Would you like to tell us a little bit more about ITLG? Yeah. Um, you know, when I was uh, in the valley, uh, when I went out first, you know, you're kind of a, a one-man band. You know, you're kind of in a whole new world, different country, and. Um, I noticed in the valley there was a lot of uh, networks, uh, you know, whether it was the Silicon Valley network, the Israeli network, the Indian network, the Chinese network, but there was no Irish network. Yeah. And, um, you know, Ireland, you know, one of the frustrations when you live in, in the US is that everybody knows about Ireland, but they know about Ireland's history rather than its future. So, you know, it's the Shiddy and Shamrock, you know, tradition of who we are, it's the pub culture of what we are, which is all great stuff. But it doesn't tell a story about technology. And having kind of lived in the world of technology all my life, um, that was a key part for, for wanting to do this. And I think uh, it was probably about nine years ago, I was reading the San Jose Mercury News and did a huge spread on a Sunday paper, uh, once upon a time when you read papers. Um, and it said, here, here are the next countries that are going to be the leaders in the world, the next Silicon Valleys. And I'm looking down the page and I see nothing about Ireland. And, uh, which was disappointing. So with that, a few of us got together, a couple of execs from Cisco and Intel and Apple, and myself, I was a palm uh, at the time, and uh, we decided let's, let's, let's uh, bring an Irish network together. Uh, that was eight years ago. Uh, there was five of us that kicked it off at Stanford University, and today we've over 15,000 executives uh, that are in our, in our, in our network. Uh, we're not in the event business, we set it up as a not-for-profit, so we really wanted to create the connection between Ireland, we wanted to showcase Ireland and Irish technology, and we also wanted to, you know, really bring people to Ireland and think about, you know, and look at the technology that's really happening in terms of research, in terms of, you know, entrepreneurship, rather than, you know, we're a low-cost environment or we're a tax base. You know, it's really kind of looking at the talent in the future. You know? We spoke to Margaret uh, Berghoff earlier about yeah. product. And yeah. this seems to be a huge focus in Ireland on services. Rob, would you like to see more product happening in Ireland? Yeah, I mean, look, I mean, there's two big parts of business. There's a service industry, there's a product industry. If you look at the multiples, that's in the product industry. And certainly if you look at uh, you know, any of the companies that are coming out of Silicon Valley, products are the comp products are driving the big multiples it's where you know you have you know your deep IP in terms of uh, you know of, of technology and you know you look at the largest company in the planet it's Apple you know it's not a service company it's not, you know it's a product company um, you look at you know some of the most significant companies that have come out of Silicon Valley they've traditionally been product our platform companies you know so um, that's that's the key and I think that's something from our point of view in Ireland I think you know there are great companies you know companies like any core technology a 3d printing company um, there are a number of different companies that are in the product space but I, I definitely would love to see a lot more product you know, companies super so on that note uh, as yeah. a final question what advice would you have for maybe a young person or somebody who's just starting out in business yeah yeah what, what should they be doing yeah well, I think uh, certainly when I was growing up, I was go going looking for a job, and I think the first thing you should think about is starting a company um, and creating, uh, you know, creating a company. And the reality is, um, you know, your your market is going to be outside of Ireland. You know, any big global company, probably Ireland represents two percent of the revenue. Ninety-eight percent is going to be outside. I think the experience for an entrepreneur being outside of Ireland, whether it's in the United States or in China, I think that experience is, is phenomenal. That doesn't mean to say you leave Ireland and never come back, but I think that learning the cultures, learning the business, making the contacts, I think, are, are really, really important. But at the same time, Ireland has like a phenomenal capability from a technology and operational financial perspective to have a base of, of the company here. So I think 
you know, think about creating your own company. Think big. Yeah. You know, don't uh, you know be thinking about the next widget or the next you know niche opportunity. Think 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 big, but also think globally. Super. And ITLG are a great place to start if you want to reach out to that global network. Yeah, I mean, you know, it's a, it, we have a phenomenal network of people that volunteer their time. They, they've mentored companies. They've invested in companies. Um, as a group, we probably invested you know over 25 million dollars in company. Some of those decisions we're making individually as as individual angel investors as long as you know, you know as a group but the more important uh, element for a young company is mentoring advice opening doors opening doors of customers opening doors of investors to be honest with you that smart capital is much more important than you know getting the check and I think that you know any young company thinking about you know driving uh, you know, their business forward, having that kind of capability in a great leader or a mentor to be part of your team, I think it's great. That's fantastic. Okay. Thanks so much for your time, Great John, to meet you. Okay. Yeah, no problem.